Chapter 1102, Challenge. Li Wei looked at Li Kai and came out from the cave. His eyes slightly shifted as he stated, You have really done it. You are indeed with no equal, especially with regards to patience. After hunting from one generation to another, the deed has been done. I will be successful in this generation. I have waited for too long, so it is time for me to reap the rewards. Li Kai grinned. I also pray for your success. It will herald a new generation that even I cannot imagine, an era that has never been seen before. With that, Mei Wei looked at Li Kai deeply and solemnly said, Because no one has ever done it before, I shall. Li Kai gave a leisurely smile from his heart. I hope I can see that day. Li Wei smiled back. This was a blessing for him as well. Li Kai sighed secretly. He knew Li Wei had made his choice. In the end, he said, When it is time to go, I hope to see you there. Maybe. Li Wei smiled but didn't elaborate. Grandpa Wei, there is a question I'd like to ask you. He said while staring at Li Wei. Li Wei also smiled and replied, I know what you want to ask. It is about the chosen path of the Imperial Lord, right? Li Kai said in a carefree manner. Nothing can hide from your eyes. Li Wei shook his head. You have always thought about this matter when you were here at the border. It is just that you couldn't see through it. Li Wei lamented softly, but it is all in the past. Just let it go with the wind. Your path and the Imperial Lords are different. What's the point of knowing? What's the harm of not knowing? Li Kai didn't ask any further after hearing this answer. He bowed deeply towards Di Wei. Take care, Grandpa Wei. I hope that we can meet again in an entirely new era. Take care. Di Wei returned the grand gesture. Regardless of what happens in the future, there are two things I am proud of in this life. The first is being able to follow the Imperial Lord and the second is knowing someone like you. I have no further pursuits in life except hoping that I can live till the generation where we might be able to meet again. Li Kai nodded his head and left. Di Wei watched his departing shadow until it disappeared from the valley's entrance. Cultivators, what are they truly after? Di Wei lamented, even if one has eternal life, what else is there besides loneliness at the very end? The moment Li Kai left the valley, the girls who were guarding the perimeter turned excited and ran to see him. Chen Beijiao told him, young noble, some people want to fight you. Li Kai paused and looked ahead. He noticed many people were gathered here, but they stood quite far away from the entrance since they didn't dare to come closer. The pair in front of the crowd was Heavenly Emperor Lin and Zanqi. At this moment, they stood there calmly. Lin was focused yet carefree while Zanqi was as sharp and firm as a javelin. As for the spectators, they stood far away without making too much sound or carelessly commenting. They could only play nice as spectating bystanders. Many stared at Li Kai with fear. It could even be said that those who saw him didn't dare to breathe out loud. Today, who in this world wasn't afraid of fiercest Li Kai? He even dared to kill people from the Soaring Immortal sect. Was there anything he couldn't do? It seems that the two of you have prepared well. Li Kai glanced at Lin and Zanshi with a smile. Lin cupped his fists towards Li Kai and slowly said, Brother Li, Brother Zan and I made a promise to battle you. Today, we have come to formally issue the challenge. Despite wanting to challenge Li Kai, Lin didn't have any antagonistic thoughts towards him. It was not a battle born of a grudge. Li Kai looked at Zanshi and said, This is a bit surprising. You two should know very well that even if you fight together, you are still not my match. And yet, you are still here today to challenge me. A cultivator has no fear of battle. Zanshi lowered his voice. Victory and defeat are part of life. Being too afraid to fight is the only true defeat. Good. Well said. Li Kai clapped his hands approvingly and smiled. I have many enemies. But those who can truly say these words with ease are few in number. Lin took a deep breath and spoke. Brother Li, our fight this time has nothing to do with feuds or grievances. Victory and defeat doesn't matter either. We know that you are unbeatable, but we want to see your true invincibility this time. I understand. Li Kai smiled. You two felt puzzled about your defeat in the previous encounters as you lost too quickly and couldn't even get a feel for my power. Lin nodded in all seriousness. We couldn't see through your strength. No matter what, we want to fight, no matter the result. If we don't fight you, then even if we have higher accomplishments in the future, it would all be for naught, okay? Li Kai smiled. Your heart is aiming for the Dao, so I shall help you. I won't borrow external powers or Dao and will only use my own power to fight and grant both of you a convincing defeat. Thank you for treating us with respect. The two of them bowed. After hearing the conversation, the onlookers held their breaths. This would be a real fight between cultivators, a pure duel. Li Kai leisurely said, since you two are ready, pick the time and place. Lin formally stated, tomorrow at this time, at the Skyrising Mountain in the Imperial border. We will be waiting for your arrival. All right, I'll be there. Li Kai gently nodded his head and accepted this challenge. Lin didn't say anything else. He and Zanshi bowed to say goodbye then turned away and disappeared into the horizon. A battle between gentlemen. Someone from the previous generation was moved by this. I haven't seen this in a long time. Top geniuses always have some aspects that other people can't match. A paragon commented. Lin is free and unrestrained. Zanshi is determined. And fiercest is straightforward and upright despite his ferocity. They aren't people that we can compare to. The crowd was excited to see this pure fight between cultivators. For the inhabitants of this world, it was easy to find friends who were gentlemen but much more difficult to have enemies willing to fight with honor. The three had an unreachable style. This was not only the style of geniuses, but also the style of experienced masters. Even an immortal emperor at a young age can't be much better than this. A god monarch spoke with emotions, 
What a shame that all three of them were born in the same generation and have to be enemies. Otherwise, they could have become good friends. Even if they won't become friends, I'm sure they can sympathize and appreciate each other. Another god monarch felt a bit envious. To be able to meet an enemy like this is also a kind of blessing in life. Normally before a battle between geniuses, people would often discuss the outcome. They relished in analyzing who would win. However, no one bothered to do so today. They only talked about the manner of this duel. Some even felt quite envious of Lin and Zan Shi being able to fight against fiercest. HMPH, a gentleman's duel? Ji Kong Wudi snorted after hearing this. So what? Someone will die anyway. With that, his eyes turned cold and exposed a frightening murderous intent. The sky rising mountain was the highest peak in the imperial border. It directly pierced into the sky as if the stars were all revolving around it. Even though the day of the battle had yet to arrive, many cultivators came quite early. For miles around the mountain, cultivators and experts were waiting. Some were hovering in the sky while others stood on the mountains. The majority tried to pick a good vantage points to watch this rare battle. For this particular battle, the atmosphere was very calm. Despite the great amount of spectators, the scene was very quiet. No one wanted to break this calm atmosphere. Heavenly Emperor Lin and Zanchi came early as well. Moreover, each of them carried a wooden coffin along with them. After reaching the top, they placed the coffins beside them. The spectators were shaken at the sight of the coffins. Lin and Zanchi are prepared to die in this battle. Someone couldn't help but murmur after seeing this scene.